you say it loud, you say J like that. All right, can you do that three times? Ready? One, two, three. J, J, J. Yeah. How about a crow? Do you know what a crow says? Ah, that would be fun. Because on the left, I get his logic. That would be an awesome idea. It didn't follow that rule, though. That is great. I like that. So the crow says caw. Not a letter, but it's a different sound that starts with C. So we're going to try that one three times. Ready? Caw, caw, caw. So it was J for the J, and it's loud. And caw for the crow. They're both kind of related to each other, like cousins. So they are loud birds. Blue um, woodpeckers um, can be kind of loud too. Uh, let's listen to the sound of one of the ones we hear here. That doesn't even sound like a word. I don't know how to say that one. <laughs> All right, that's one of the ones we hear around here. And I'll do one more. It's hard to see this. <laughs> it's a very good sunny day, isn't it? Where's my little back button? There we go. Good. All right. Now this is our other great big woodpecker we have around here. Pileated or pileated. Both pronunciations are correct. One naturalist said, if you're that worried about that, get a life. <laughs> Sounds a little bit like a monkey. <laughs> we don't have any monkeys around here, but maybe the pileated tries to be the monkey. <laughs> All right, those are some of our birds you might hear around here. And the cardinal, my favorite, I'm going to share that one. That one says, purdy, 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 because a cardinal's what color? Red. Red. And it's going around saying, aren't I pretty? Pretty, 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 purdy, purdy, purdy. <laughs> 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 cool.